begun centuries earlier in the Middle Ages and which had been the official uh, declared, officially declared finished in 1526. Now I'm showing a near contemporary uh, painting of one phase in the expulsion. We will hear about what looks like a one-on event, or something like the expulsion of the Riscos, which is actually a much longer process of, of either uh, absorption or failure to absorb a religious minority that is not allowed really to exist as such, uh, but one which has you know a very important uh, weight in the past of Spain. Uh, well, people have to ask the same sort of questions about. Uh, not necessarily minorities, uh, but uh, you know, what is the role of religion in society or the notions of cultural difference in affecting public policy uh, and uh, how this uh, fits within a democratic uh, structure which is not you know, completely new in Spanish history but still is something that's being worked out. Two things come immediately to mind. Uh, the first thing is of course the, uh, the similarities between uh, uh, the, the sorts of migrations, even if they're going in different directions, uh, of leaving early modern Spain uh, or being forced to leave early modern Spain, and of course people coming from um, from uh, actually the rest of Europe and from Africa, uh, and even further beyond, to trying to get into Spain as, uh, right now as well. Um, so there's, I think, some very striking parallels here. Uh, there are also some very important differences between these two sorts of experiences. I think the larger question has to do with, um, with notions of cultural and religious pluralism. Spain is a country which um, now becoming much more multicultural in the way in which, um, which is something which you know, people will look upon this from different points of view, but I think a uh, few people would deny that this, this presents society and culture with opportunities and possibilities that simply were not uh, available in the past. Uh, and this, I think, in, in many respects, just as Spaniards in the early 17th century, to the extent to which uh, people were consulted, uh, and popular opinion did play a role with the, in the expulsion of the Moriscos, just as people were sort of had to think about what sort of society they wanted to have and what what types of pluralism could exist or just simply should should be should be banished from that society the same questions are obviously coming up and the same types of decisions have to be made by Spaniards now within a more democratic structure about what kind of uh, what kind of uh, uh, country uh, what how many different sorts of peoples could coexist there um, and, uh, uh, and this, of course, has a lot to do with Spain's um, very strong European vocation in the presence uh, in trying essentially to open itself or continue to open itself up to the rest of Europe at the same time.